The Stock of the Day is brought to you by IG, Australia's number one CFD provider. With over 17,000 markets and extended trading hours, turn US earnings season volatility into opportunity. Get started at IG.com. Hey, and the Stock of the Day is JB Hi-Fi, and it fits with the theme just perfect, I think, because I know it's one of Howard's favorite stocks, but you know, we all spend a lot on all of our gadgets and AI might be pushing us to spend more. But today, JB Hi-Fi is out with a sales update. Total sales, 4.9% higher. Total sales growth for the good guys, 5.3% higher. JB Hi-Fi doesn't often give guidance and it didn't this time, but it did say that it's pleased with the FY25 sales so far and sales for the month of September as it heads into the important, that's a quote, second quarter trading period. And so at its AGM today, JB Hi-Fi also telling shareholders that yes, it's a tough retail environment, but that's why mm -hmm. execution matters, saying that the group will continue to prove value to customers, especially in key events like Black Friday and Boxing Day. So JB Hi-Fi is the stock of the day. Howard Coleman, yes. it's gone from strength to strength Absolutely. to strength. I mean, happy if you're already a holder, mm -hmm. but is there any reason to buy? Yeah, I've owned it for quite a while, so I've done very well out of it. Um, it's probably a little on the expensive side now. I mean, I'm, I wouldn't be diving in right now because there's bound to be some retailer, not JB Hi-Fi, who comes up with a disastrous set of figures in the next little while, and JB Hi-Fi shares will fall, which makes no sense, of course. I mean, when, uh, when I used to run a business, every time we heard one of our competitors had a disastrous result, we fetched some champagne out the <laughs> fridge to celebrate, because it meant more business yeah. for us. But the market doesn't always think that way. JB Hi-Fi has two big strengths, really. Are. It's the lowest cost in terms of running its operations. It makes more money per square foot or square meter than any similar retailer. And of course, even for, seeing as we're talking boomers, my generation, you go into JB Hi-Fi, you get some youngster who's probably about the age of your grandchildren, um, who's a real expert in what you're talking about. You can go in there and be, pretend to be, even if you're not, completely <laughs> helpless, and you get wonderful advice. <laughs> Their salespeople are extraordinarily well trained, um, which probably may not matter for some of the younger customers, but I know that most of our Team Invest members are happy JB Hi-Fi customers, and they deliver so fast. You phone them up, I live in St. Ives, you know, phone or order online, if I order online, I usually have it within two hours. I mean, oh, wow. it takes 15 minutes or 20 minutes to drive from there to me. <laughs> yeah. um, and yet they get the delivery to me in two hours. I'm, I'm constantly amazed. It's faster than Amazon. Mm -hmm. So it's a yeah. hold? Yeah, probably a hold. Uh, great business. Yeah. But you want to wait for it when there's been a few negative days on the ASX or a couple of retailers have been complaining or retail sales figures come out and they're down and then it'll drop. Uh, retail stocks tend to be fairly volatile and you can buy cheaper. Grady? Completely agree. I know a lot of the brokers do have a buy rating. We don't cover JB Hi-Fi, but looking at the company itself, um, it does seem a bit expensive and we're expecting retail sales to come down. We're expecting negativity, as I said earlier in the show, uh, out of the retail sector and earnings reports are coming out. They're pretty down across the retail space. So um, JB Hi-Fi, again, smashed out of the park, smashed FY24 out of the park cannot fault the company whatsoever. What I love about the staff, talking about the staff, is that they're from all walks of life and you've got people who are so musical that work there and they love the music sector and they're the specialists in the music sector. Then you have like the computer coders who work there as well and they have the different colored hair and I just love JB Hi-Fi, the environment. When you walk in, you know you're gonna get a really good deal. They price match. Love everything about the company. Uh, I have one qualm was that I got sold some um, expired film. So my Japanese, my, my Japan trip film came back with no photos whatsoever. Oh. So when you're checking, that's just not, it's not a, that's not a problem with JB Hi-Fi. Okay. I did buy it wow. there, but always check your film because if it's expired, you can't take photos on it. So my whole Japan trip. See, I'm getting really confused for this boomer <laughs> millennial division now. You She's are? talking about film. film. <laughs> And, and, 
And I, and I remember 30 <laughs> odd years ago doing a case study on Kodak, putting yeah. their digital camera in the drawer and what a mistake that was. Yeah. Oh my no, gosh. So the film is coming back. So yeah. I'm taking a bit oh, really? of the yeah. I'm Just taking like a bit of the steps. I've yeah. got some yeah, yeah, I've got records. fancy film cameras and lenses yeah. on yeah. that. You can make a lot of money on cool that. Again. Chuck it on Facebook Marketplace and you'll get a lot of money for that house. Oh, really? <laughs> hold, hold for JB Hold for JB Hi-Fi. I would want to see a bit of a pullback and then I'll personally probably buy in to be honest so there you go yeah, it's a great company phenomenal we've got some agreement between the generations on stock yeah. of the day jb high five the stock of the day was brought to you by ig turn volatility into opportunity this u.s earnings season with extended trading hours on over 110 key u.s shares get started at ig.com